most people that become great today if you listen to their story and they are honest about it they will tell you that their beginning days were days that they had to have a lot of faith that it's going to work they saw a vision they had a goal and they pursued that goal is it possible for me to give up no I have come too far to give up now. I have seen small happenings that is making me believe that things are really going to turn out. Do you hide the light that you put on to see? No. And it says you are the light of the world speaking to us as believers that we are the light of the world. So why do I have to hide and hoard my gift? It would be a disservice to the one who gave it to me. Sometimes it's discouraging because it feels like everything you're putting in, the hard work you're putting in, it still feels like you are small. How can I stay motivated? welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i want to ask a question how can i stay motivated and positive when facing small beginnings zachariah chapter 4 verse 10 says do not despise these small beginnings for the lord rejoices to see the work begin now i know you have heard this do not despise the days of small beginning that is the inspiration for today's video but the question like i asked is how can I stay motivated, positive, and inspired when I am operating in a small beginning, in a little beginning, when it feels like everything I'm doing, it's like nothing is working. Like I have stayed on this for a while. I have stayed on this, this journey for a longer period than I expected that things will turn out and it feels like it's not turning out. Most people that become great today, if you listen to their story and they are honest about it, they will tell you that their beginning days were days that they had to have a lot of faith. And I don't know if there's anything like a lot of faith, but they just need to have faith that it's going to work. Because they were doing something that they saw a vision they had a goal and they pursued that goal and i'm speaking generally i do not know what particularly you have to do with your life i do not know what particularly you want to do or you are doing in your life and it feels like the place of beginning it is small and has remained small for a significant amount of time and i want to encourage you because somehow it feels like giving up on something small i thought about myself okay practically i'm doing youtube videos and i'm working i have other things that i'm doing but i love what i do with posting videos on youtube and getting to speak about the bible and the scriptures and somehow it could feel tiring because the views are not coming in like expected the subscribe subscribers are not coming in like expected things are not turning out like expected and somehow felt like is it possible for me to give up and one thing i told myself was no i have come too far to give up now now i have had moments in my life that things like that happen and i ask myself can i give up and when i think about the work that i put in to get started i cannot give up now because i know that it's going to work out i have seen small happenings that is making me believe that things are really going to turn out i don't know what it is for you i just had to share that little moment and then i had to tell myself look if it is only one person that looks at my video and watches it and is blessed by it and gives a one comment that they are being inspired that is all i needed and i've seen that in my shots and my videos that one person would come and say i needed this and then i would say that's the goal you wanted to reach people it wasn't about you know the numbers of views but it was about impacting people of course the numbers is important but that wasn't the goal the goal was you have something in you that you want the world to see like the scripture says that who can light a lamp and put it under a bushel do you hide the light that you put on to see no and it says you are the light of the world speaking to us as believers that we are the light of the world so why do i have to hide and hoard my gift it would be a disservice to the one who gave it to me so he does not want me to hide or hold the gift he placed inside of me because i did not give it to myself he gave it to me i got to use it so in using it sometimes it's discouraging because it feels like everything you are putting in the hard work you're putting in it still feels like you are small the changes or the effects you're seeing the results are not that significant as you would imagine but then faith 
is needed in this journey. How can I stay motivated? One half faith in God. God gave you the vision. God gave you the dream. If it is a God-given dream, even if it is just something that you really love to do and you're not so sure that God gave you, you're still in prayer to God about it, you still need to have faith in God so that God would lead you whatever purpose he wants to achieve with that thing that he's doing in your life in this season. You are having faith in him that he is going to do what he wants to do. Amen. Do not despise these little beginnings. It feels like nothing is changing and the devil might come into your mind to which word that nothing will change. First of all, you are having faith in God. Secondly, believe in yourself, the gifts that God has given you. You trust God, but believe that what God has given you is legit. As long as you're not just trying to deceive people in your business or whatever it is, believe that what God has given you, as long as you know the effort you put into what you put into and the hard work you put into it. Paul said, everything I have is by the grace of God. But then I labored, which means it was not just him saying, it's just the grace of God. I was just sitting in my house. I didn't do anything. He said he worked hard. He labored more than all the other apostles. And then the grace of God, the favor of God helped him achieve everything and had success. So you need the grace of God to be successful, which is about having faith in God. But you need work ethic which is to believe in what you are doing so that you won't give up that discipline of knowing that what i'm doing is going to work and this is the thing the few points i'm going to give you instead of despising the days of little beginning these are what to despise despise the shame of little beginning despise that shame sometimes it's going to feel shameful that maybe people are going to laugh at you i don't know what he's doing posting videos online like i i imagine people could think that of me or what is he trying to achieve or you, you want to be one of these youtubers or you think there's you can achieve anything out of this or maybe in your business what is he doing with starting this kind of business what business does he have with this kind of business or whatever thing you're doing what people who have their criticisms and you are not to be affected by what critical thing they say about you if it is constructive you can learn one two or three things from what they are saying but that doesn't mean they are supposed you are supposed to allow their words to tear you down and put you down. So the reality is despise the shame that may be attached to your little beginnings. Despise the pain that may be attached to your little beginnings. In Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2, it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, which is can talk about despising the pain he endured the cross the cross was painful but he endured it he buried it despising the shame and today i sat down at the right hand of the throne of god is for you to know i have to despise the shame endure the pain which is, is another way of saying despise the pain instead of despising the days of little beginning you have to endure it it's going to be painful it's not going to be easy it's not going to come with so much of laughter most of the time but then you have a little moment here and there to laugh and just you know have fun but then in this little beginning some of it might be really painful you have to endure the pain thirdly you have to despise the doubt you have to put away the doubt the doubting that you are having in your brain that i'm not even sure this is going to work you have to put it away and have faith and trust god that god is going to make it come true and these are the things you have to do don't despise the consistency don't despise the commitment don't despise the focus don't despise the goal and the vision do not despise the process there is a process to this every great man or woman today has a process and had a process that they went through to get to where they got to and one person's process is not exactly the same with another person's process Joseph's process of going through the prison was not David's process. David didn't have to go through prison, but David would have a lot to learn from Joseph, even though he didn't have to go through prison in his own. He had to go through a fight with Goliath to get to where he was heading. But Joseph had to go through a prison and through the wisdom of God, he was able to interpret Pharaoh's dream and he got to the palace. For us, we can learn lessons from these people and real life people who have gotten to the places that we want to be. But we have our own process that God is taking us through. That is why I said, 
have faith in God, believe in what God has given you, which is in what you are doing, and then I've given you this point, what to despise and what not to despise. This is how you will be able to stay motivated in the days of little beginnings. And I pray to God for you and for myself also because I need the prayer that everything God has started, God will bring it to completion. Because Paul said, For I know whom I believe that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him unto you that day. And the God who started a good work in me is sure and faithful to complete it. I pray that God will help you, take you to where you want you to be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for watching today's video. I am Wem. If this video has inspired and motivated you, I want you to hit the subscribe button. That is your way of supporting this channel and hit the like button if this is a blessing to you share in the comments how this has blessed you and how you are being motivated and inspired in your little beginning how are you motivated in your little beginning thank you for watching today's video god bless